Gujarati's Tech Fest Shasta 2009 was a whirlwind of tech events and symposiums spread over four days. One of the more popular events at Shastra has always been Junkyard Wars, where participants have to creatively use scrap metal and other discards to come up with a thing of beauty. Pratibha Raman gives us more food for thought. Shastra is one of the grandest national student tech fest. Charita just showed you how this fest has given a new meaning to technology with stunning innovations, especially in the field of robotics. Now, can an event of such magnitude be encapsulated into one story? That's what I'm going to find out. Shastra 2009 had interesting events with metallic objects and flying objects some capable of great speed and others with great features. But how do these talented students from various parts of the country brainstorm and design these interesting models? It's not just about softwares, programming and automation. There's a great deal of imagination behind every creation. Where does imagination come from? At IIT, from junk. No kidding, the participants were given three old bicycles each, some metal rods and pieces from the junkyard. They had to weld, screw, dismantle, restructure and reassemble it all to create a mobile crane that can lift a weight of up to 50 kgs. That's the competition, Junkyard Wars. While two of the three bicycles helped in transporting the load, the third acted as a pulley to carry the load. The pulley's placement had to achieve the maximum centre of gravity. This was crucial to carry and transport the load faster. Any miscalculation can lead to a breakdown literally. Now I'm making it easy for this team. If this can lift me, then their creation is a winner. found a mode of transport, I'm heading to the next event. See you there! IIT's Open Air Theatre was modified into a racetrack with twists and turns. Engines revved as the three-wheel vehicles raced through it. You can see the fire in the participants as they steer their remote control monsters through the track. The track is littered with obstacles, so with all that fire in their bellies, they still have to walk on ice. Now you know why the event is called Fire and Ice. With one icy engine for propulsion and a suspension system at the front and rear, the race cars came in varying colours. But the challenge lay in having a single wheel at the rear like an auto rickshaw in reverse. challenging part uh, for us was that uh, the uh, alignment of the steering. We had to work on it for hours to make it into correct uh, position so that we get good control over it. If, if there are slight changes for the uh, distance between the right wheel and the left wheel, it can cause us a lot during uh, motion, maneuvering of the, uh, uh, the sassy car. It was an eye full of technology for those who walked into the Shastra festivities. The Tech Fest also showed some cutting edge technology imported from other countries. One of the latest gadgets that IIT Shastra has brought in is the fog screen. Even though the source of the screen is water, as you walk through it, it feels cold but dry. Equipment from Finland uses ultrasonic waves to convert water to fog. Transducers help in this conversion. Inbuilt fans push the fog down along with cold air. This one meter wide screen can also be interactive, allowing people to write and draw on the fog. There's an interactive kit which comes in with the sensors which are placed on either corners of the screen. 
where the hand movements are being recognized through the sensors and that sensor feed is given to the system and that recognizes your finger as a pointer on the screen. Fox screens are a big hit at events like fashion shows and parties and for those who can spare close to 80 lakhs, you can buy one as well. If you thought a dip in the fog was exhilarating, then wait for a drive in this car. Go back to the future with these five IITians who are designing a vehicle meant not only for superheroes, but also us lesser models who are fighting recession. They just wanted to make a car for the common people. It will be cheap and that was the basic idea. But we thought like, let's make it like Batman. It will be very too soon. So the front two wheels of the car separated and become as a bike. So that is Batman's idea. This is the bike part. This is the car part. It's separated into very simple planks, mechanical linkages. You separate these bolts and this bike part comes out. Now these are the swing arms. These swing arms will swing one over here, one over there, and there will be a bike. This engine is a 50cc moped engine. It will be used for the bike. It will be mounted on one of the swing arms. That mounting is going to be done. And then this bike, this part of the car will be left behind as we go on. That's how it works. With four days in hand, the five core members got together to design and build a car in campus from scratch. Two and a half inch pipes, four scooter tires, a car engine and a bike engine were welded and screwed together. Result, a kickstart vintage car quite unlike the fantasy car I imagined or even what Bruce Wayne aka Batman would have imagined. But unscrew the rear, the rods unfold to become an unusually long bike. Four days to create a four-wheeler is by no means an easy task. From the design on paper, to the 3D diagram on the computer, to a full-fledged Batmobile-like car for 25,000 rupees. They did it all in a small shed at KV Grounds. After attending a tech fest like this, I believe in what these students believe in. If you have the zeal, you can engineer the impossible. Did you see potential in the student innovations and the technology you saw at IIT Shastra 2009? Well, mail in with your thoughts to feedback at ndtv-hindu.com. Still to come on Bite It, how to play while at work.